I want to take you into three areas, though, that really make quarterback play. Okay, so the first thing you've got to think about when it comes to quarterback play is the quarterback's mind. You have to train your mind so that you control the game from the pocket. If I'm the quarterback, I've got to know what's happening with the defense and where the football should go. At that point, now my preparation and talent can take over for the performance of getting the ball there on time and on target. But it really starts with your mind. Early in the game, he was showing me that he had complete control of this game in his mind. It wasn't too big for him. It wasn't too loud for him. It wasn't too chaotic for him. And remember, he's working with a brand new offense, a brand new offensive coordinator, and a brand new play caller. Pretty remarkable stuff. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about, of controlling the game with your mind. This is early in the game, first series. TCU, not ready. Look at them. They're all looking to the sideline. Shador immediately sees, I've got a free wide receiver with no defender over him. What do I do? I don't take a lot of time. I don't wait to get set. I get the ball and bang, it's out. That's a third down, by the way. He throws it not to Travis Hunter, but to Harrison, the young tight end, who then is able to run for a first down. Remarkable stuff. Now you've got to talk about ratios. Sanders understands that he's got three over three, but two over one on one side. So I got to play the ratios. What do I do? I play the ratios to the three receiver side. I get the open man. That ball is out. Look at that. 1.9 seconds. So his mind is taking over. He sees ratios and he sees open receivers and he's taking them immediately. Right here, this is a little bit more difficult. You've got all hitch routes, but look at the defenders there. Everyone's within a yard except for this slot player who's got about a five yard cushion. Who got the ball? The slot player. That tells me that Shador Sanders knew exactly what he was looking at at all times. Impressive stuff. Remember, brand new offense, brand new play caller, brand new quarterback coach. And it didn't matter. This guy was using his mind to control the game from the pocket. Now, another element of great quarterback play is being willing to make the big throw. Some guys can go out there and take those hitches and quick throws and leverage throws and play with their mind all day long. But they shy away from the big moments. The big moments where it's third down, it's fourth down, and you have to make a throw. And it has to be a big time throw. It has to be on time. It has to be on target. You can't shy away from those moments, and Shadur did not shy away. Let's take a look at some of the big moment throws. First of all, he gets man coverage on the outside. He wants to throw a go route. He's got to move the middle safety over to the left so he can open up this, this right side. What does he do? Opens up the right side and throws a beautiful ball to Xavier Weaver. That is a big time throw. Didn't shy away from the big time throw. Now it's third and 16 in the fourth quarter. I've got to get the 16. Now he's going to have an in-breaking route up to the top, but that's not going to get the first down. He doesn't want to throw it there, but he takes the safety safety there with his eyes knowing that he wants the big boy throw to his matchup Travis Hunter you saw it earlier great play from Hunter certainly but equally great play and big time throw from the quarterback he didn't shy away it's third and 16 the game is on the line and he's making the throw necessary on time and on target all the while using his eyes to open up the big throw so many quarterbacks in those big moments will shy away and just take an easy throw to make a completion and then go back and be like, well, that's where my read took me. He made the read happen with his eyes. He moves the safety and then he comes up and takes the shot. That's really magnificent stuff. Now, one last element to this offensive performance for Colorado, and it has to do with Shador certainly and big time throws certainly, but... I don't want to leave their play caller, Sean Lewis, out of this mix because he was equally as brilliant with the game plan. Now, I said during the broadcast, one of the things that a play caller has to do, you can never get bored taking a profit. And great play callers have a long memory. They know what works early and they will come back to it in a crucial moment in the game. And that's exactly what happened in Fort Worth for Colorado against TCU. Let's take a look at the tape here. This is early in the game. It's just a nondescript first down. You get a nasty split reduced down from the wide receiver. He's going to run a little inside route. The back's going to come out in the flat. Okay, you just call the play and guess what? You get a little rub right there, and you realize TCU's not going to defend this that well. Why? Because the flat is wide open. Now, 
It doesn't go for a big gain, but Sean Lewis is right here, and he sees this, and he's like, oh, my gosh, that is wide open. So he keeps that in the back of his mind. Dylan Edwards, thankfully, wasn't hurt. Into that same series, he says, okay, let's get into a similar formation, a little bit different. Now I've got slot. They'll run inside breaking routes. I'll send the back out of the backfield. Guess what? TCU doesn't defend it properly. It's an easy touchdown. Great job by Sean Lewis, right? takes a play that was working earlier in the series and uses it on third down to finish the series. Now it's fourth down. Got to have it. What do you do? Same concept. Change the formation just a little bit. Reduce splits, but now you're going to run it down to the field. Guess what? TCU doesn't react. You get the back out of the backfield because they have not shown the ability to cover in-man coverage the back end of the flat with inside breaking routes from the wide receivers, whether it's one wide receiver, two wide receivers, or three. Whether it's the short side or the wide side. Sean Lewis found the win early and came back to it in the biggest moment of the game. I thought that was brilliant stuff. And again, I'll say it. If you call plays out there, whether it's high school or college and you're watching this, you never get bored taking a profit. If something works once, in all likelihood, it will work again. Now, do you want to run it exactly the same? No. You change up the formation a little bit. You run the same concept because that is easy for your kids to, to execute and hard for the defense to uh, defend and also uh, for them to recognize is the term I'm looking for. Great stuff by Sean Lewis. Great stuff by Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.